Are you looking to set up a WooCommerce abandoned cart recovery email sequence in your store? Well, then this video is for you. Holiday season is right around the corner and there couldn't be a better time. Keep watching. Card abandonment is a reality. 70% of shoppers add items to their cards and abandon it. Sometimes it's because of a technical glitch on the website, but most times it's because of reasons that are outside of your control, such as procrastination, distraction, and uncertainty. Well, you cannot do anything about them. Last minute questions such as, am I making the right decision? Will I lose money on this item? Will they deliver these items to me on time? Is the store even legit? Well, these questions always play on shoppers' minds. Experiencing anxiety during the checkout process is understandable. Thus, we weren't really surprised when a WooFunnels user, Jake McCluskey, implemented a three-part abandoned cart recovery sequence for his client's WooCommerce store and they recovered $1,400 in revenue in the first week alone. And mind you, these results are not atypical. You can get them too. By the end of this video, you will exactly know how. So here's how we're going to roll. Well, firstly, I'm going to show you the lame way to do your abandoned cart recovery. Don't take inspiration from these examples. Then I will show you how to set up uh, the abandoned cart recovery email sequence in your WooCommerce store. I'll also show you how to set up discount coupon codes and offer them in your email. Mind you, these coupon codes are going to be time bound, so which means you can use the power of urgency to push people towards the buy button. And I'll also show you how to time your emails right so that, well, you're reaching out to them when the iron is hot and not after they've forgotten about the purchase. Finally, I will share with you the exact three-part email sequence that you need to implement in your WooCommerce store right now to skyrocket your cart recovery rates. So you must stay till the end of this video to get that three-part cart recovery email sequence. But before that, I'm going to ask you to hit subscribe so that when I create my next follow along tutorial like this one, it finds its way to you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so now I'm going to show you the lame way or not so efficient way to do your abandoned cart recovery emails. Uh, so most e-commerce store owners, what they do is that they send an email which looks like this, where, well, it's, it just states that uh, we noticed you left something in your cart. Would you like to complete your purchase? And then below it, you have the product image and the product price. Well, these emails do not really induce any kind of desire and they do not take the conversation forward. It, a lot of people will just ignore these kind of emails because they are not enticing enough. They they don't give you a compelling reason enough to go back. Well, now that you've seen the inefficient way or the lame way to do your abandoned cart recovery, I'm going to show you the smarter way, which is by using this 100% free plugin. It's called Autonomy, which is your WordPress marketing automation engine. So all you have to do is just download this plugin from here and then upload it here or you'll also find it in your plugins repository uh, and then you can sort of activate it after which you'll have it under WooFunnels automations. Well, so this is the interface of Autonomy. Here you've got a bunch of tabs and then here you've got the list of all the automations active or inactive currently in your store. Of course, uh, when you're starting fresh, you will have to create uh, automations by hitting add new. So just a quick overview of the interface before we dive in to one of the automations. All right, so this is the cards tab. Now, uh, once you set up your card recovery sequences, you will be able to track your uh, recovered cards, abandoned cards, and so on. So this is the interface which will help you really analyze how your sequences are performing and whether you need to tweak them or not. 
Now, after analytics, we're going to jump right into recoverable carts. Now, in the recoverable carts, you can see the list of all the carts uh, which have been abandoned and on which the sequences are running or they can run. So this is where you can see like that order total, the items that they were trying to buy and uh, of course their email. So you will see the entire list here. So is the case with recovered carts cards and lost cards. Now, just a quick word about how the email gets sent out. So we're in the connectors tab here, as you can see, autonomy integrates with CRMs like active campaign, convert kit, uh, there's Motic, MailerLite, Clavio, MailChimp, OnReport, GetResponse, Drip, and uh, of course, uh, you know, these are all the CRMs that Autonomy integrates with, and we keep adding more integrations to the list, but uh, you can uh, if you if you want you can send out your emails using wordpress smtp so that's the case as well i'm going to show you how to do that but of course you have the integration options available and of course we have twilio as well so which means that you can complement your uh, your cart recovery emails with sms and mind you the open rate of SMS is anywhere between 90 and 90, 99%, which is way higher than what your emails can give you. Now, I would have loved to deep dive into every tab, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to save some time, but I'm going to take you right into the settings tab. So just imagine that a user comes here, fills out some of their details and then doesn't click on place order. So how many minutes later would you like this to be termed as an abandoned cart? 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Well, that's exactly what you can define in the settings tab. So well, in the settings tab, you can define the wait period, which is after how many minutes the cart should be termed as abandoned. On a default, actually, this is set to 15 minutes, but of course, you can change it from here. You can also enable live capture, which means as soon as the user enters their email on the checkout page, it will be captured in case an abandoned cart sequence need, needs to be run on their email. Similarly, you can define the time period after which uh, the uh, the abandoned cart will be marked as a lost cart. There are many more settings, but I'm going to save time and not go into that. I'm going to head straight back to the automations tab. All right, so here we are. Now let us hit add new. Now this is the interface where you're going to create your automation. This is the automation builder. So firstly, you have to select an event. So which is under WooCommerce. Of course, there are a bunch of other options that you can choose from here. Like I said, Autonomy integrates with a lot of other uh, modules, plugins uh, and external websites that you use. So you will hit WooCommerce and under that you will hit card abandoned. And then you have the option here to either choose direct action or conditional action. So the moment card gets abandoned, you can either choose to send out an email. So this is really simple. Under WordPress, you have send email and then you can create your email over here in this interface. Uh, and these are merge tags. So you'll already find an email created for you. So you can edit it if you like, uh, right? Make some modifications and go with it. So these are the merge tags right here, which allow you to personalize your email. There are more such merge tags available. I would love for you to explore and see what you can make from them. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, this is for your first name and then you can put the cart table here or you can add add the items in a comma separated fashion. So when you select items, it asks you how would you like to show the items that they were trying to buy in the email. So you can copy this on clipboard and then you can do this. Just paste it here. So then it will be a list comma separated, right? We have a cart reserved here for you. This is the recovery link again coming from the merge tag. This is the cart recovery link and they will be sent right back to where they left off. Here you can set the delay. So you must send your first email within 30 minutes of the cart being abandoned. So this is where you can set the delay uh, to your email. There are some more settings, but you don't need them. You can just set up a simple email here, save it and then add action. So you can add another email uh, right here and uh, 
that is how you can create a sequence and here we recommend that you set a delay of 24 hours the first email goes within 30 minutes because you want to strike when the iron is hot and the second email can go after 24 hours um, it could go sooner as well well but we'd leave it to you so, well, this is how a sequence of emails get created. And if the card got recovered from a previous email, the next email will not be sent out. Now, let's say that you have a series of three emails, but in the third email, you want to offer a coupon code. So that's how you're going to go about it. You're going to select action and then under action, well, you will say, a create coupon so which comes under WooCommerce create coupon a base coupon should already be created like here I've created a 10% off and then you can add a new coupon name which can be personalized as well so the billing first name shop and then the abandoned ID just to make the coupon unique you can set an expiry date for the coupon let's say three days and then you can use the power of urgency to drive the sale restrict coupon with user yes and uh, there you go so you can also choose to perform this action after a delay if you want and uh, yeah which is which is fine let's just set it after a delay or actually it comes in the sequence so this is fine too after sending out these emails this uh, this um, coupon will get created let it let it be immediately and then what we're going to do is add action and uh, send email so this is the option to send email we're going to copy this coupon code from here and then we're going to paste it here so you know you have a coupon code here's your coupon code and there you go you can just copy it and you're good to go right that's it just hit save and you have a sequence of three emails ready to send out well now i do have a dedicated video where i show you how to send segmented emails based on conditional logic that is users cart total and so on so you have a bunch of conditions based on which you can send out email to your users to make them more targeted more pinpointed and more response driving but i'm not going to cover in this video since this is all about woocommerce abandoned cart emails the content and how to set it up and so on so i would recommend that you watch this other training that I have I will link it out in the description and also you can see on the right hand side of this video all right so with that aside now I'm going to share with you the exact email sequence with the scripts that you need to recover more of your abandoned cards so let's get started so this is your first email and well I'm just going to get rid of this all right yeah I'm going to paste the script here so there you go Wow. All right. So it says, hola, my name is Kia. I'm with Beehive. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So we could say hi, first name. I'm with Beehive. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I saw you were about to buy some of our products, but they are still in your cart. Was it an issue checking out? If you have any questions or concerns, reply to this email. I will get back to you. I've saved all of your items in your cart for now. So you can just click here and I'm going to just put the recovery link here. So uh, we say merge tags and then we go to recovery link. We select it, copy to clipboard and we're going to say click here and then paste here. There you go. Yep. So you can click here and continue, uh, continue right where you left off here, product specialist. Now, this email is doing three things incredibly well. Number one, it goes out from a real person. So you know that, you know, it's coming from Kia, from product specialist. It's not automated, it's not annoying and all of that, right? The introduction is within the first line itself, which is really proper. And then uh, secondly, it's short, which is great because you want more people to read your email. They'll only read it till the end of it, only if it's short. So that's great. Number three, it gets them, it asks them questions. It asks them, if you have any questions or concern, please reach out, hit reply. That's what you want. You either want them to be hitting reply and reaching out to you with, with their specific concerns that probably haven't been answered in the sales pages uh, or anywhere on the product pages. Or you want them to be clicking here and completing their purchase. So it does the job well. There's just one goal of this email. I mean, it's a, there's only one call to action button in this email and which is click here to complete the cart. And of course, we're going to send it after 30 minutes. So I like to call the, I like to call it the gentle nudge 
email right so we're gonna hit save uh, that's our first email and uh, we could have our subject line as all okay or it could be uh, about your purchase on a beehive yes so that's our subject line let's just save it now in our second email we could do a really lame job so we could just simply follow copy the contents from the first email and paste it right here and follow up again or just right here and following up again what about your purchase and so on but look we don't want to annoy them we want to find a fresh angle so i'm going to show you this email right here so yeah here you go okay so this is the email did you know all of our ingredients are of high quality and 100 percent natural yes everything right down to packaging our journey started with one simple question why is it so hard for women to find skin and hair care products free of harmful chemicals the answer wasn't simple that's why we uh, so because the sourcing uh, toxin free ingredients is a challenge so we source it all from local communities and a part of the earnings is also given back to these communities we've written transparently about uh, everything about our ingredients sourcing initiatives other initiatives on the website you can go and read about it and while you're at it you, you can also go and complete your purchase with us we have saved your selected products in your cart for now so go ahead and make them yours again we're going to put the recovery link here so from the merch tags this is your recovery link so we're just going to put it here go and make them yours so that's that's one cta per uh per email right so we're not uh sort of directing them to multiple uh multiple pages you know we're not linking these out not at all nada so the purpose of this email is to actually remind them that they were making the right decision they were just on the verge of it right so this is the email that i like to call the the why us email this is where you find that one strong point which really separates you from the pack which is your differentiator and then kind of go on and elaborate over it give them a compelling reason why you are the right people to buy from because remember people always buy from people so let's hit save so that's our second email which is the why us email and of course it goes after 24 hours after of the cart being abandoned then we are creating a coupon well i'm going to leave this to you whether you want to make uh, discounting a part of your strategy or not so um this is your third email so of course if you're going to use the coupon code you can use the urgency trigger but i'm just going to go ahead and assume that you're not going to do that so we're going to send our third email without the coupon code so well that makes it slightly hard but not really that hard because we're going to use the power of social proof so this is the social proof email and this is how it goes uh, yeah there you go so this is where you're going to use a testimonial so because you want to fire them up you want them to feel really excited about buying from you about doing business from you so you're going to use the words of one of your uh, customers uh, and highlight them here it could be a review or a testimonial or an email sent out or maybe a facebook comment that really uh, sort of you know tells a lot about your brand and why others should trust it so here's how it goes uh, emilia one of our loyal customers left this wonderful review for us and then this is the review i've been using several products from beehive for a few years now i've tried treatments from different brands al along the way but i have always tended to come back to this one at the end it's like my holy trail uh, it always shows me the longest results all of their products are really good but i love their skincare line do give this brand a try if you haven't already so what's exclusive about this testimonial is that it's not about a specific product it's actually about the line of products it's about the brand in general give it a try you would not regret it a great closer here we're sure you'd love our line of products too just like emilia does so click here to get back and recover your card or to complete your purchase oh and this is actually my last email to you uh, after which your card will automatically expire key are the product specialist so that this is how it goes and of course the subject line could be something like um gas here's what emilia said about us or uh, you know said about beehive right something like that 
So this is how it goes. You're going to save it. This email is going to go after 48 hours. And this, like I said, is your social proof email. But of course, if you're going to use the coupon code, you could also use the urgency trigger where you say, hey, listen, you've got this coupon code. It's going to expire in the next 24 hours. You go ahead and recover your cart. And then there are chances that, you know, if you give them like, let's say a five or 10% off, they may add some more stuff to their cart and increase their order value and then make the purchase. Well, doing your abandoned cart recovery is just one of the use cases of autonomy. There's so much more that you can do with it. Uh, for instance, put in place a post-purchase upsell sequence. Uh, you know, after a customer makes a purchase, you can build a relationship with them, engage with them, and also upsell them other items. Win back campaign, which allows you to reach out to the customers who once bought from you, but are no longer active buyers. So reach out to them and offer them a special discount coupon code or something to get them to come back and make more purchase. Apart from that, well, there are so many other use cases because Autonomy integrates with WooCommerce subscriptions, WooCommerce membership, affiliate WB Learn Dash, and so many other apps and systems that you love and use every day. I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click on the link in the description box below and explore more about Autonomy. Well, that's it from me for today. If you enjoyed this content, do not forget to like this video, leave a comment and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. That was me, Tavleen, and I loved doing this video. That's me and I'm signing out.